Episode 1 of uh, Twinges Tips and Tricks, the Options Menu. So there's actually some useful stuff in the Options Menu that uh, a lot of people don't necessarily know about, especially if they're new at the game. Um, you got your basic options like your full screen options, your sound volume, music volume, stuff like that. Uh, you got colorblind mode. So if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see the changes to the colors. Um, makes it a little easier to distinguish for colorblind players there. So you can have that on or off. Um, now these options up here are a little more interesting. Uh, show beacon paths on hover. That is off by default. So your standard situation, if you uh, look at the map like this, you can't tell which beacons connect to other beacons. But if you have uh, that option on, then uh, you can see which beacons connect to other beacons just fine. That uh, can be very helpful for planning your route out through a sector here. Uh, next here, right above it, uh, vent choice selection. You've got three options here. You can be, uh, it's default on no delay. You can have it on a brief delay or disable hotkeys. Uh, what this is referring to is um, a delay in selecting the options when events pop up. So, uh, for example, events pop up, they show that they have one, two, three options that you can choose between and pressing the keyboard, one, two, or three will select those options. Um, so if you have no delay, you can just select them instantly and uh, that'll be done, you'll select the option and it'll happen. However, that can be problematic, uh, for example, if you're aiming your weapons while you are um, killing an enemy and they pop up a surrender. So you press one because you're trying to shoot select your first weapon to fire at them and you accidentally accept their surrender. So if you turn this to brief delay, that'll no longer happen. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, this is pretty straightforward. This uh, automatically pauses the game if you uh, lose the focus. Unpauses it when you gain the focus back in the window. Now the last thing here though is configure hot or keyboard hotkeys. There's uh, a few options in here that uh, a lot of people may not be aware of as well. You've got hotkeys for all your different crew, so that's uh, number one is the, the first one in the list, number two is the second one in the list. So you can use those to easily select your crew. Uh, you got your return to station, save stations buttons, you can customize those to be whatever you want them to be. Uh, open all doors, close all doors. Um, specifically, hitting open all doors opens everything except the airlocks, and then you hit it again, it'll open the airlocks also. Um, you got teleport and return your crew. Uh, hotkeys for starting, hacking, mind control, batteries, cloaking, all of that useful stuff here. Uh, another useful one here is increase and decrease the event font size. You can make the font size bigger or smaller if you would like, if it makes it easier for you to read there by hitting the, uh, the minus and the plus next to the backspace there, not on the numpad. Uh, hotkeys for jumping, for opening stores. Um, this one's useful too, that'll uh, let you change your auto-fire setting. So if you want to just auto-fire one weapon instead of all your weapons, you can hold down control to do that. Um, and then there's also some useful stuff on the, uh, the second uh, page here. By default, uh, you'll have powering systems We'll have all the hotkeys down here, AS, DF, and so on, here. But you can also set them to just happen in the system order. So this this adjusts to however many systems you have. So if you want to make it easy to power and uh, depower your systems, uh, for example, I've got uh, first system on A, S, D, F, and so on. So I can um, depower a system by holding down Shift. So Shift A depowers that, A repowers it. I can do that uh, all the way down the line. Just uh, can make it convenient, uh, very useful if you're speedrunning, but uh, just just nice to have even playing normally. But uh, okay, that's uh, the the options menu of FTL with some nice hidden useful stuff that not everybody knows about.